And this was before that patient, the xenotransplant patient actually died. Okay. So despite all this excitement, a third of the patients still were a little skeptical about um, you know, whether they would accept a uh, kidney from, um, from a pig. And a lot of that is because there was a certain amount of uncertainty. And yeah. it's, uh, it's um, to your point, like the first 11 dialysis patients died before the first dialysis patient took on. Yeah. Uh, the first four or five xenotransplant patients died, but that didn't prevent the company that is looking into it getting like a, a $16 million or so, you know, a boost to kind of like refine the Keep techniques. going. Keep yeah. going. Because the two things that what we want is to prevent any transmission of infections. Because uh -huh. um, as humans, we're constantly surrounded by bacteria, viruses, fungi. Yeah. And some of those things, like the viruses, don't leave our body. They stay in our DNA. Uh -huh. You know, when we were little, we got chicken pox, right? And then that virus doesn't leave us, it stays in our cells, and later in life, it comes back as zoster. Mm -hmm. Same thing with pigs. They might have certain viruses that were incorporated into their DNA, and then if we do do a transplant, is there a chance that we will unleash some virus that might basically potentially Been cause... Been sitting there dormant. Sitting there yeah. dormant, and the animals might be able to deal with it, but there might be something that the humans yeah, yeah. may get impacted mm -hmm. by. 